Did you get the latest memo from Dr. Fideo, Millie? There was something from Napoleon, I think. I haven't read it. What's he say? Apparently, he's going to run a CPD course on coping with emergencies in practice. And instead of it just being a lecture, he's giving a demo. And he wants us all to take part. Don't know that's a good idea. Last time we had a recess drill, it was a disaster. Evelyn thought it was supposed to be a fire drill and was running around with a fire extinguisher. Anyway, if he thinks we're helping him out with something like that without getting paid overtime rates, he's got another think coming. I thought you might say something like that. Is he here yet? Yep. Think he's doing his letters. I do hope you had a good time at my daughter's party last weekend. But I should appreciate it if you would kindly find the time to remove your Ferrari from my lawn and at the same time return my Land Rover. Actually, come to think of it, you'd better email that Evelyn. He probably hasn't mastered the ability to open an envelope yet. Hello, Charlie. Just got your memo about this course you're running. Thought it was a good idea. Instead of paying a fortune to have a CPD team down here to get our compliance, if we run the course, then people pay us to do it. But we were pretty awful in our last drill, Rufus. Oh, I'm sure we can do a bit better next time. Still, doesn't really matter, though. Most people go on courses just to fulfil this daft, enhanced CPD nonsense we've all got to pretend we're doing. As long as they get a signature on their bit of paper at the end, they can sit there updating their Facebook page or something. I remember I went on a sedation course once. A couple of South African guys turned up on the first day to sign in, then never saw them again after the first coffee break. Happens all the time. Book a course, bring the whole family over for a week's holiday, then put it all on expenses. Not quite the same, though, is it, Rufus? Oh, come on, Charlie. You'll see. It'll be fine. Hello, everyone. Fantastic to see such a big turnout. Right, let's get on with it. No dreary lecture today. Instead, we're reenacting the real thing. So, you've just put the local in, and the patient says they're feeling a bit faint. The first thing we do is lie the patient flat. <coughs> OK, so perhaps a bit more gently. Anyway, turns out they don't improve, but lose consciousness, go a nasty grey colour and stop breathing. What are you going to do? First rule, don't panic. Start CPR and call reception to phone for backup. Millie? What? You're supposed to be at reception ready to phone for an ambulance. Oh, right. I didn't know we got to that bit yet. Do you want me to go back out then? No, just pretend to go and phone, then come back with the oxygen. OK. Am I supposed to be here now, Rufus? You were supposed to be here ages ago, Charlie. I'm just stuck here like an idiot, bouncing up and down. Go and get the rest of them, will you? Right out. What am I supposed to be doing? Go and get the defibrillator. That's nitrous oxide, Millie. I know. The oxygen cylinder was empty, so I brought this instead. We can pretend it's oxygen. Oh, for heaven's sake. Zoe, can you take charge of the airway? Now Zoe is going to demonstrate lifting the chin and tilting the head back to open the airway. Oh, for heaven's sake, Zoe, you're not supposed to pull a bloody head off. Oops, sorry. I thought Tracy was supposed to be getting that. Yes, but she couldn't find it. What the hell are you doing, Zoe? You're not supposed to blow her up like a fucking balloon. Sorry, Dr. Fidel. What are you laughing at? I don't know. Why are you laughing? I don't know. I can't help it. Perhaps it's the gas. What gas? The oxygen. I thought you said it was empty. <laughs> this might be an opportunity to take a short, short coffee break. <laughs> Back again. So carrying on where we left off, we now need to use the defibrillator as soon as possible. Zoe, can you switch it on? Oh, Christ almighty. Typical, isn't it? You buy the bloody thing, it sits there for ages, then when you need it, the fucking battery's dead. Plug the charger in, Zoe. But the instructions say not to use it when it's on charge, Dr Fidea. Never mind the damned instructions. It's not for real. It's a bloody dummy, for Christ's sake. 
Now try it again. Anybody know where the fuse panel is? Well, seems you were right there, Zoe. Not a good idea to use it with the charger plugged in. Well, let's just assume the defibrillator did work. Normal heart rhythm is restored and the patient can be transferred to hospital. Can you put the chair up a bit, Zoe? I found the fibrillator. <laughs> what the f So, that brings us to the end of today's demonstration. Any questions? <laughs>